Hey, what's up guys? This is Jeff and I'm doing my day trading recap. Today is Wednesday, November 13th. So I traded D-Dog. D-Dog was actually my go-to. It was my main on my main watch, uh, mainly because it, uh, it reported earnings yesterday and they had an amazing earnings report. So um, D-Dog is an IPO. So I love trading growth names as a swing trader. So um, I'm trying to implement some fundamentals from my swing trading uh, techniques and uh, methodology into my intraday trading. So um, this one actually worked out really well. So this was a, a nice little gap and go strategy. So uh, this reported earnings, again, uh, really good earnings report. And let me show you on the daily what this looked like and my thought process behind this trade. So this is a gap. Uh, it was gapping up around 3840. As you can see, there's a level right here, 3840, and it was holding that level. So I knew that this could potentially uh, get to the all-time highs around 41, 48, uh, 48, if this could possibly break the pre-market highs and get going. And uh, sure enough, this thing did get there, had really, really good momentum. So there's definitely other traders who are also looking at the same thing that I'm looking at. And I know that a lot of growth investors and, and stock traders who invest in and trade growth names were also watching this. So let me show you what I saw here at the open. So I played this for a five minute opening range breakup. I wanted to wait five minutes because this could be very erratic. Um, so as you can see, five minute orb. Now on the one minute time frame, you can see how erratic it was. First minute came to pre-market high, rejected, came down to pre-market low, bounced off of it. And then you see this huge flag, beautiful flag. You can see this flag pole here and this beautiful flag. Now uh, there was these huge wicks and I wanted to make sure that I get a good entry so I don't get stopped out. So as you can see, <clears throat> I set my hard stop right here. I tried to get in on the break of a new one minute high on the body here, but this thing just shot up and filled me right at pre-market high. Um, but that's okay. You know, I had my hard stop in. Um, as you can see, look at these long wicks. There was a huge ass at 40 and I knew I was fairly confident in this trade. So I was in this trade for a while. This thing was just chopping up, still respecting my stop here. And I, I like these wicks because it's implying buying pressure. Also confirmation of volume. Look at the look at the volume bar. Very good volume here. And then volume started drying up on the ask, right? That huge order at 40. Once the volume started drying up on these candles, this thing just ripped, broke $40 right there. And this thing instantly popped uh, 30 cents right there. So I took two partials up there um, and this thing squeezed uh, like another 30, 40 cents. And I took another partial there. At this point, I only had like 20% 20, uh, 20 of my shares left. I just went ahead and put my hard stop right here and wanted to see how much higher it can go, if it could possibly trend. So um, yeah, and it ended up working out really well for me. So, um, you know, it came back, pulled back, was holding, came here, tested, I didn't like the rejection. So I just made sure I just took a little bit off there, popped back up, took a little bit more. And as it started making new highs, I just started taking partials on the way up. So um, at this point, you know, um, I had that level of 41.48 and it did get there. I got my last partial at 41.48, uh, I mean, sorry, 41.30, um, cause I got to get ready and go to work. So, but yeah, man, I mean, look, this thing was super strong, beautiful five minute orb. you know, a better entry would have been somewhere down here with your stop, you know, the low of that candle. Um, but yeah, and look how strong this is. There was literally no new five minute low for a while. I guess this made a small little wick down there, but, and just look at this. I mean, even look at this bullish hammer candle. So this thing was extremely strong and and and, and good volume supporting it. Uh, look at these volume bars. So um, yeah, that was my trade on the day. I hope everyone had an amazing trading day. Again, if you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to leave it at the bottom. And again, you know, please subscribe to my channel. I post, you know, trades every single day. Um, yeah, if you have comments, uh, go ahead and leave it at the bottom and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow.